Hello. We have been getting a lot of requests about the uh, LiPo batteries and how to charge LiPo batteries with the charger and then how to work with the LiPo batteries in general. So let's go first uh, about the basics of the LiPo batteries. Every LiPo battery, it's been constructed from a multiple cells. Just like this one battery in my hand now, it's a uh, 4S, uh, which means four cells, and inside this one battery, there's uh, battery cells like this one. So uh, like, just like now, I would have a 2S battery, and this would be a 3S battery, and for, uh, then inside the battery, we have connection uh, done, and the, the balance charger and the main, main uh, power output cables connected. LiPo batteries are different from, from NiPad and NIM and other batteries. These batteries you cannot discharge totally empty. If you discharge them empty, the cell is dying. Uh, the minimum uh, voltage level that you can discharge to the cells is 3 volt. If you go below 3 volt, it's dead and you cannot revive it after that. There are many handy tools to working with LiPo batteries. And this is one of them. It's called the cell voltage meter. And, and you connect the meter on the balance uh, battery port, which is uh, every battery have that one. And it shows you, first it shows you the total voltage, so what is the maximum voltage that are coming out from all the cells, and then it shows uh, cell by cell, what is the cell voltage. And that's uh, information, it's a really good one, because then you can see if the cells, if they are level, if they are equally uh, charged. And if they are not equal charged, then you might be having a problem of the uh, overall power output, so you have to balance charge. So let's let's take a look about this one battery. First it shows total voltage, 16 1, cell number 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you noticed, cell number 2 is much more higher than the other cells. Um, all the other cells are close to 4 volt per cell, but the, the cell, cell number uh, 2 is 4.2 volts, which means that it's, really, uh, it's, it's a lot higher than all the others. So this one battery uh, needs to be balanced charged next time when we're charging. Another one, how about this one battery? Okay, 3-cell, 11.3, 376, 377, 374. This is quite goodly balanced. Uh, on a, when, the, when the battery is balanced like this one, you don't have to balance charge it. Just use the normal battery connector to charge it. A little bit about the connectors. The red one in this one battery, is the connector called Teens B. It's uh, the older one uh, connector which is slowly going away from the market, but it's still, especially like for USA area and, and uh, some European countries are using this one a lot. This one, the yellow one, is the new one XT60, which, uh, on my opinion, is much more better and uh, slowly is taking over the world. And uh, it's, it's much more easier to handle with this one than the XT, uh, the, than the Teens connector. And if you if your charger have only XT60 connector, then you can have this kind of adapter to modify your battery connector to be XT60. Same thing if your your aeroplane or helicopter or whatever is using XT60. If you don't have the adapters, you can make one of those ones. If you have the connectors, or you can just get one of those ones from our website. Okay. Uh, what connectors we have and what uh, we have in this charger? We have the uh, 12 volt or normal 12 volt or 50 maximum uh, 16 volts per input for this kind of connectors. We have the wall socket connector. We have the main power outputs and we have the balance boards. Uh, if, if you need to balance charge your battery, you connect the ba balance charging uh, connector from the battery into white ones and in the main cables you are connecting along these main outputs. Yeah. Alright, I will put all the cables on and then we can move on close up and start looking how the software works and uh, what kind of uh, configuration we need to use on the software. So. Let's go to close. 
okay everything is ready we have the charger in here we have the uh, light bulb charging back which is really important when you're charging the light bulbs you need to put the light bulb battery inside the back or you can use some some uh, uh, surface that doesn't burn if something goes wrong then it's good to have those ones so let's put the charger on I will put the charger on next to the box so we can see the uh, display a little bit better and what are we charging we have a, a three cell lipo battery so we need to go in here on the display I can show you normally when you're coming it looks like this one so we go enter you can see it's a, that's a balance charge that's a, a fast charge and then you have storage charge discharge and normal so we just go now in a normal charge we choose the voltage, uh, the current. This is uh, 3,300. I usually charge them just a little bit lower or same amount like like the battery say. So now let's go to 3.3. And here's we we here we have the uh, cell amount. This is now for two cell and we have a three cell. So let's put three cell, 11.1 volts, and three cell. Okay. Now we go and can connect the battery there and then we press and hold okay battery check uh, three cell yeah it's been uh, detected that is a three cell and it's been configured that is a three cell so confirm let's go charging and now on this point so basically you could uh, put the battery earlier but Let's put it now online. So now if something goes wrong with the battery, it's easy to take from here, disconnect the battery and take it outside. Uh, and and, and, and uh, then, then you don't burn your fingers or anything like that because light bulb batteries are sometimes a little bit dangerous. All right. From the display, we can now see that we are charging with a 2.3 amps totally. Our charging voltage is 12.6. Uh, we have been charging now 40 seconds and 27 milliamps now and then that will go automatically all the way till end and, and uh, when the battery is full it's automatically uh, stopping it and start saying full in here so on that point you can just go and, and uh, either disconnect the cable and press from here uh, which is end ending the charging automatically Okay, how to, uh, how to do the balance charging? Well, uh, first we have to go in here. We need to go to balance. Let's go. Now we have a balance charge. Same thing. I will go 3.3. .3. Oops, too high. Uh, that's a 6 cell. We don't want to uh, charge our 3 cell battery with a 6 cell voltage because that would explode. So we go to 3 cell. Okay, 11.1 .1 volt 3 cell. Good. Now we go and look the balance chart connector in here where we have a four pins over there and then we connect this one like that. Now I'm not putting it inside the light bulb uh, because I'm, I'm watching, watching the battery all the time. So let's just start, hold it down, check. Okay, we have been programmed a uh, three cell and we have been detected that we have three cell. Good, I can confirm. Let's go charging. And now it shows that okay, balance charging. And uh, while we are doing the balance charging, we can actually go and look what is the uh, voltage level on every single cell. So first cell is 4.2, 4, uh, sorry, um, 4.20. Uh, 4.17 and 4.19 so this one battery is quite okay balanced but uh, we can still balance charge it and then balance charging is usually taking much more longer than the normal charge so especially if your battery is really out of balance so it can take maybe two or in worst cases even three cycles to make it back really balanced anyway whatever you do 
never ever leave your your lipo batteries in a charger if you go away from the room or if you go away from the house or your home or garage or whatever because if something goes wrong well in the worst case you might be burning your home so don't do it. don't do it okay happy charging for everyone bye bye